Hey everyone, Phil Strike here with day one of Project Island of Blood. Yes, this is going to be my next project. I know I talked about Lizard Man, uh, Warriors of Chaos. Did I talk about that? I talked about other armies I wanted to get, like the Wood Elves, but I thought, you know, I have a ton of models still unassembled, unpainted some of my dwarves that I have about 30 dwarves that I need to paint for my army and I decided to get these out of the way first this project island blood I, I had before my orcs and goblins and my dad bought it for me for last Christmas I believe and because I told him about the rule book and he thought it was a good idea to, to get it for me and he doesn't usually buy me Christmas gifts because you know I'm older and you know I should be on getting my own stuff, but this for some reason he got it this time, and I was very joy overjoyed to get it. And the rule book, of course, is very handy. It's very convenient. So yeah, um, I recommend anyone who's into the game Warhammer Fantasy Battle. I recommend getting this set because, as I said, the rule book's really convenient. Mine is a little worse for wear for some reason, but. Also, besides the rule book, the figurines or the figs are amazing, amazing detail. If you can see them, they're kind of dark, the hyals, and, but the rat ogres, you can see the detail on that. And they're just amazing figs. And, you know, the newer, newer figs are obviously going to be better, but these are great. I think as the Scaven and the Hyles. And I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, it's Scaven, but I like calling it Scaven for some reason. So this is the griffin that comes along with the set. It's unassembled and I'm planning to paint most of my army like this unassembled so I can just get into the parts and get into the crevices and other parts that I miss usually if I if I had glued them. So basically, yeah, that's going to be my next project for the next while, two months, one or two months, depending how fast or fast I, I go through these guys. I want to take my time with these guys so they, they look at least decent on the battlefield. And have them, I'm planning to use the typical color scheme for the high elves elves with blue and white of course there's gonna be a, like a red cape on this guy and bits and pieces that are red and different colors maybe but typical I'm gonna follow the typical color scheme actually I'm planning to do, use shadow gray instead of blue for the blue I'm using for the high elves so it's gonna be a little different the Skaven I haven't chosen a uh, color scheme yet, although this guy, if you can see, I don't know what my camera's focused on, I'll just put it where the toad is right now. I painted part of the Skaven, you know, yellow and having the armor a bit of green, I know it's not really shown here, it's kind of dark, so it might, they might have that yellow-green color scheme. That rhymes, yellow-green color scheme, but I don't know, might change that up depending on how I feel and what I want to do. I also might change the high elf color scheme to orange and purple. Purple is normally reserved for the dark elves with the typical color scheme, but you know, high elves can rock, rock the purple color, don't you think? Anyways, um, that's gonna be it for the next while. Uh, not sure whether I'm going to make videos like every day, probably not because I'm going to be busy and we'll see, you know, see how it goes so far. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, other news, I don't really have any other news, I'm just recovering from a cold and just uh, getting through August. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll vlog to you guys soon. Peace.